I feel like I shouldn't even do my real intro with the story time. <laughs> Hello universe, my name is Kati and welcome to the tragedy that is my sex life. <laughs> so this is a video I never thought I'd be making <laughs> and a story I told myself I'd never share. But seeing what the outcome was, I feel like it's pretty safe to share with you guys. My misery can be turned into your entertainment. So I'm sure you read the title, so you probably already know what this is about. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the story of the time I thought I had throat gonorrhea. So I met this girl through a mutual friend. Her and I really hit it off. She really understood where I was in life and understood I wasn't ready for a relationship and was okay with it. But obviously her and I were still pretty attracted to each other. So after hanging out a couple times, her and I had a little sleepover and I'm sure you can guess what transpired that night. Now, a key point I feel I need to point out about the story is that this girl hadn't had sex with anybody in two years. I was the first person she had been intimate with in a really long time, and I pretty much just left her house the next morning feeling really good, really confident, and just really on my shit. So fast forward to the next day, I get a text from her. I need to talk to you later. It's kind of important. So I was like, yeah, for sure. What's going on? Thinking maybe she's just feeling kind of bad about herself because we hadn't talked too much ever since we hooked up. Like, whatever. I just went to Planned Parenthood. Oh, and in my head, I'm thinking, I know she's a full-on lesbian, but this bitch better fucking tell me <laughs> that she thought she was pregnant or something. So I asked, like, you know, what's going on? She said, I had some big sores on the back of my throat. Have you been tested recently? I instantly start freaking out. I feel fucking terrible. I feel disgusting. I feel just, just like such a fucking dick. This poor girl hadn't had sex in two years and the first time she does, she gets fucking throat gonorrhea. Like what's a bigger fuck you than giving a person throat gonorrhea? And normally I get tested pretty re regularly. I think it's a really important thing to do if you are sexually active, especially if you're not in a committed relationship. Uh, but I hadn't gotten tested in a little bit just because I was kind of tight on money and I didn't have a lot of time and just etc etc. Also, I just want to point out that she was really like nice about it. I was freaking out because I felt bad that I was hurting somebody I cared about. I feel like STIs usually get a huge overreaction and instantly people who have STIs or have had STIs or whatever just feel like they're disgusting or that they're a whore or whatever just because there's this whole stigma around STIs because people think that STIs and STDs are the same thing but I'm gonna get on that tangent later I'm gonna finish the story I'm trying to research like symptoms you know how quickly they come how quickly they go like I'm trying to fucking research as if I'm doing a college paper on it. So I go to the doctor and they check me out. They did all the tests, blood work, they put a cotton swab up my vagina, you know, the whole nine yards. The doctor said I looked fine, but he would run the test anyways just to be sure. Now, a couple days go by and my partner is still feeling bad. Her throat's still hurting, she's just feeling all around sick. So I start asking her, you know, is it really what Planned Parenthood said it could be? There was never any, you know, specific like yes or no. It was just kind of like a maybe, like it's in the air. It could possibly be this, but it could possibly not. So a couple more days pass by and her and I were hanging out. She was still not feeling good. And I finally asked her if I could see the inside of her throat. I get my phone, I put my flashlight there, and she has a bunch of like white on the back of her throat, which is normally a sign of strep. I look at her and I was like, Sarah, this looks like strep. And she was like, what? No, like I've had strep before. I know what it feels like. I was like, yeah, no, homegirl, that looks like strep. So the next day, Sarah goes to the doctor to get tested for strep this time. And later on that day, I got a text from her. I just got my strep results back. Please don't hate me. 
So this whole time, I was beating myself up because I thought I gave this poor girl throat gonorrhea. When it turns out, the bitch gave me strep! Oh, and just to be clear, I did get my test results back the next week. Everything came back negative. So Sarah, if you're watching this, f*** you. <laughs> In all honesty, I don't know why I expected anything less than this. <laughs> Sarah and I are obviously on good terms. She was incredibly understanding when she thought I gave her throat gonorrhea, so why wouldn't I be understanding when she gave me strep? <laughs> She knows I'm making this video. I absolutely adore her and I'm super thankful that I got to go through this experience with her. Uh. <laughs> go get checked regularly. It is an important thing. I don't want to get off on a whole tangent, but STIs and STDs are nothing to joke about. However, I think that the opinions of STIs should definitely be changed a bit. A lot of people have just a really poor outlook on them and think that just because somebody has had something like chlamydia or gonorrhea or whatever, it instantly makes them disgusting and they become an untouchable. The amount of people who have them and don't even know is absolutely insane. Enjoy your sex life and I hope that it's going a lot better than mine. <laughs> Shit happens and uh, go get tested. <laughs> Please give this video a thumbs up if you've ever had throat gonorrhea in your life and give this video a thumbs up if you haven't ever had throat gonorrhea in your life. Nobody will ever know. <laughs> so there's that story. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video and are able to laugh with me instead of at me and if you're laughing at me then I don't fucking blame you. I would too. <laughs> I don't think the sentence I thought I had throat gonorrhea but it turned out to be strep is ever not going to be funny to me. <laughs> As I always say if you'd like to follow my journey please click the subscribe button and if you'd like to follow my other adventures I'll put my social media links in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for laughing at me. Hug your mom. Hug your pet. Go get tested and until my next video remember that the universe is on your side. Bye. There's a party on fifth there. Party on fifth there. If you tryna go, if you tryna go, I can be there in like 20. I'm a honkin' and come running, cause we gotta hit the road.